Hello there everybody and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips with me Sally Cathcart. Now today I wanted to share with you um, the joys of hardwiring in your computer to the router in your in your house. Now I experimented with this over the summer holiday and um, last week was my first week back of teaching for this particular autumn term and I was hardwired in for the whole time that I was teaching. Oh, and it was just such a transformational experience. I finished my teaching still feeling quite me, quite, you know, happy. Um, I hadn't lost the signal once. The sound was great. The picture was great. Everything was really, really working fine. And what was so interesting was that I had probably three quarters of all the parents say, wow that was so much better we didn't have to struggle to hear you at all and the picture was stable all the time and i hadn't told them that i was going to be hardwiring in at that point but they all commented really quite spontaneously you can't hear me okay in saying that i was trying to i've unplugged good job i i looked can you hear me now i'm hoping i'm i haven't tested my sound let's turn that sound up can you hear me now I'd love some reassurance that you can hear me. Um, so please just, just let me know whether you can hear me now or can't hear me. But I'll start again by saying that um, I was, I hardwired my computer in to the internet. Nina, that's, thank you for affirming that you can hear me. Um, I hardwired my computer into the internet and last week's teaching was just a revolution in terms of how easy it felt, how natural it felt. I could see them, my picture was so clear, the sound was really good as well. So that it took away a lot of the stress and frustration that comes when you are losing the Wi-Fi signal. So, <laughs> and now other people are saying the sound was better. Okay, well I'm talking as loudly as I can, so um, it might be that you need to turn your sound up or put some headphones on because I find that there wasn't a problem. Good, thank you. People can hear me. I'm just going to keep talking. So I just wanted to come on and talk about that uh, hardwiring process because I um, I'm going to give you a quick whiz around my 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 home at the moment and just show you what I've got. So you can see here. Let me just come down a moment. Get my computer working. So you should be able to see just here. There we go. There's my computer. And you can see I have a blue Yeti and I have a whole kind of adapter thing because I've got a uh, a MacBook Pro that only has certain types of um, adapters. So luckily I've got a, a hub here and here's my hardwire. Here's my Ethernet coming in here and I have to switch off the Wi-Fi on here, which isn't currently switched off. That's one thing I have to remember to do, switch off the, the, um, the Wi-Fi. I plug into the Ethernet and then I've got a 20 metre cable. So here we go. I'm just going to zoom you all around. So it starts just here. Yep. And here's my piano, as you can see. And then it's very low tech because it just runs across the floor. I don't have anything going on. It runs across the floor. It's a 20 metre cable. I do have to watch my feet. But here it goes all the way through here. And there is the router. And as I say, the difference is just huge in terms of the signal, it doesn't drop out, it maintains a real, real strength. And that's because, of course, the Wi-Fi will diminish the signal. So if you're on Wi-Fi and you have problems, then it's certainly worth you trying out and, and experimenting whether you can get um, yourself hardwired in. You do need to do it via the computer. Um, and again, you know, I know not for everybody is that possible, but if you can use a computer to um, a laptop to um, deliver your lessons with, it is it is better. It is it is, uh, uh, as I say, it's the way you can hardwire in. Um, and that's all I wanted to say really today was just say if you haven't tried it, if you are struggling with Wi-Fi and if you're on a computer, do give it a go. I know it's not always possible because sometimes, I mean, I think my route is quite a long way away, but I know for somebody else, you know, they were saying it's several rooms away. Well, you can get 
um, you can get very, very long router cables. You really, really can, Ethernet cables. Um, just go onto Amazon, they're really not expensive. They are really very reasonable. And um, I would absolutely recommend that you give it a go because I think here in the UK we'll, I don't know how long, I hope that you'll all be able to keep continue teaching face to face for as long as you can because the children need it. But if there comes a time where you have to go back online, give it a go. It's really worth trying it out. So that's the end of today. Um, I just wanted to say that next week I'm going to be spending a bit longer, a bit longer, I think, with the Tuesday teaching tips. And I'm going to be discussing the ABRSM performance grades or indeed any kind of exam who that you are going to be recording. So Sharon and I were talking about this morning. It's a very, very different kind of environment when you're asking your students to record their performances. And it needs very careful management and preparation for. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit more next next Tuesday. I'll come on as much as I can close to one o'clock. If you're going to be there, then do hop on with me. I'm going to be taking any question and answers that you have on this topic about performance grades. And I'll stay around for a little bit longer than I normally do. So probably one till half past, something like that. So we've got a few people just commenting. I'm going to say hello to Ijoma and uh, Colette is there. And Tan, hello Tan, and Rosie as well, and Sarah, Sarah Greenham Taylor, she's saying a Wi Fi booster. Well, the thing is, Sarah, I use a Wi Fi booster. I have been using one. In fact, we have two in the house. But the Ethernet cable absolutely surpasses what the Wi Fi booster can do because every time it gets boosted, it loses it a little bit. Okay, so. That, that's my experience in, in my house and in my area. But of course, everybody is in a different kind of area with different Wi-Fi signals. So I hope that's been helpful to everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next week where we'll be talking about recorded um, exams. All right. Bye bye. Happy teaching.